Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Steve, that's Audra. Today we're continuing our trek south through the Florida Keys. We're on our way to Key West with our cat lady Gray and our self-converted Ford Transit camper van traveling on a low budget. Today we're kicking back and experiencing some of the greatest beauty in the Florida Keys. Hit that subscribe button and join us for some van life adventures. Look at those sexy legs. And some silly shenanigans. We go in search of overnight parking in a very remote area. And maybe, just maybe, Steve will finally find that pterodactyl he's been looking for. guys it's another beautiful day in the Florida Keys we came for the sunrise and we're back at the old seven mile bridge it's a beautiful morning we're spending just a little bit of time here and then next we are going to what we think will be our favorite state park in the Keys Bahia Honda State Park hey there. you see to the right is where we were just walking, the old seven mile bridge. Now this bridge I think is the longest section in the Keys. This is seven mile bridge. This is where a scene from True Lies was filmed years ago. There's Pigeon Key to the right. That's basically the end of the uh, old seven mile bridge path. You could pay to get a little tour there. That's the end of the trail there. They took a segment of the bridge out so you can't go across. Next, we're going to show you a celebrity here on the bridge. His name is Fred. So did you see Fred? He's the tree growing there on the bridge. The reason why he's so popular is because there's no soil there on the bridge and he has sprouted up and grown into a full-size tree. Uh, he's a local celebrity. There's a group of people that come out and they actually decorate him. I don't know if you noticed, he was actually decorated for Christmas. They put lights on him and uh, he's got his own Facebook page too. That right there is definitely not the overnight parking that we prefer. Entry into this park is $9 unless you have the park pass. Alright, we got here first thing in the morning, just after 8 o'clock. We're just going to drive around a little bit, make sure that we know where everything is that you can see here. So we're hoping for some bright blue water. I think kind of middle of the day when the sun's up higher, the water will change uh, the color how it looks when we see it. So we're driving around the park right now, just checking things out, and we're also trying to decide if we want to try to get a campsite for tonight. They usually have some open up uh, that we can maybe grab one later today. We're not sure if it's worth it or not, but it does look like the campsites here are pretty cool. You can get a site out here on the water side, it's pretty sweet. So you'd have a great sunrise. There's Steve. I love my dead trees. I had to jump out and get a couple pictures real quick. Well, maybe more than a couple. Thank you for 
<laughs> your patience. All right, so we drove around all the park and we got to the opposite end. And we think this would be a nice access point with our inflatable kayak today. And we can park parallel to the water. So when we open the slider, we'll have a view of the water here. So we thought this would be a good spot. Uh, we also looked at the ocean side, but it's unfortunate someone parked at the corner where we would have been able to open up and have a nice view. So we decided to do this instead. We're near the bathrooms. Seems like a convenient spot. So now we're gonna make some breakfast. Since we're gonna be here for a while, we're gonna get everything set up. We're going to turn it on the swivel seat. Put up our table. And relax. Good girl. Are you checking things out? Perfect time to see things, Katie. There's nobody around. Let me see. Good girl. Not a bad view for breakfast. All right. On the menu this morning is brioche French toast. It's brioche with chocolate chips in it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty yummy. And, of course, heating up some hot water for coffee and tea cocoa this morning. Oh. I'm gonna have some of this. That's from our friends Ronnie and Allison. Mm -hmm. Steve's Steve's fancy coffee. So once again we are doing a little hack here. This is butter that is left over from Cracker Barrel. We melted it on top of the pan like on the top a little bit while we were cooking. So now we have soft butter. Really soft butter. And we have Cracker Barrel syrup. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cracker Barrel. So with limited space in the fridge, it's really nice to have things like that. Like we're gonna hang on to the syrup bottle from Cracker Barrel just because we wouldn't have space for a whole big bottle or for a lot of butter. So it was perfect. Just like I think these French toast pieces will be. Can you guys see the color of that water? Isn't it amazing? Yeah, Onda. Bahia Onda. Deep Bay. Or Bahia, as I like to say. They, oh, they say it's commonly pronounced Bahia Honda. Bahia Honda. I don't know. Bahia Honda is one of the most popular parks in the Florida Keys and is best known for its beaches, clear water, and this old iconic bridge. The bridge was part of the East Coast Railway built by Henry Flagler in the early 1900s as he worked to fulfill his dream of turning the Keys into a tourist paradise with easier access to Key West. In the 1930s, the road was built on top of the bridge as part of the original Overseas Highway and was used until the early 70s. In the 1980s, the bridge fell into disrepair and a couple of sections were removed to keep curious explorers out and to allow larger boats to pass through. The Florida Park Service had a portion of the bridge restored to preserve it as an iconic piece of Florida Keys history. Some of the area is currently closed for safety reasons, but you can access part of the bridge and get some stunning views. It's neat to be able to come up on this old bridge and get a view of pretty much like the whole park. See some of the colors of the water up here. Maybe even with some of the birds. After checking out the bridge from above, we walked down around for the views at the bottom.
Just got back to the van after walking around and exploring some things. Gonna check on the kitty, maybe hang out at the van a little bit, have some lunch. Where is that girl? There she is. Hi, baby. We lugged our laptops over to the concession area to use the park Wi Fi, which wasn't so great. For those of you who have been following along for the whole series, this was around the time that we lost some of our footage from the beginning of the trip. So we got some food, we tried to get some work done on our computers, and now we've moved to the other end of the park, back where we first started this morning, because we're going to try to kayak. It's a little windy, so it might just keep blowing us in the shore, but we're going to try it anyway. Alright guys, so change of plans. I'm super disappointed. I really wanted to use our kayak here that we just got, but the weather has really changed and it's super windy, blowing into the beach, so I'm just afraid if since it's an inflatable kayak that if we get out there it's just going to blow us back into the beach. So I think it's better just to put it back in. I started getting it out. I think we're just going to go for a walk instead. Check things out here. So we're going to go for a walk to the end of the park, see if we can make it to the Bahia Honda um, inlet or channel. This is pretty up here. They seem to think we'd be all right kayaking around here. It seems a little less wavy over here, but I think we're running out of daylight. Not daylight, we're just running out of time to do it. So maybe we'll have to come back another time and try it. So we made it to the English Channel. We've been walking and walking and walking for days. There it is. <laughs> it's kind of wild to see how the seaweed stuff moves. It's alive. <laughs> Look at those sexy legs. <laughs> Oh, excess prohibited, Steve. Looks like we've reached the end of the road. Audra. Boy. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know what it is. What is, look at that. What if it's like some kind of egg? It's my lost marble. Oh, it's soft. It's like a, almost like a grape. Maybe it is like a, I don't know. There's another one. Isn't that weird? Something else is kind of cool. It's part of a sea fan. Cool. Just hanging out, enjoying the view. This is living. In a van. <laughs> down by the sea. <laughs> That's what I was going to say, down by the river. This was the perfect spot for relaxing in the van with a great view of the water. At least for some of us. Guess what time it is, you guys? It's time to get out my kite. Audra, look, I found a pterodactyl. <laughs> Thanks, Lanny and Roxanne, this is awesome. Whoa! <laughs> we 
rushed back to the other side of the park to catch a picture-perfect sunset. So that was a really pretty sunrise. Steve's gone off to uh, rinse off before we leave. I'm enjoying the last bit of color in the sky. And then we're heading on to our next spot. We've got to look for a stealth parking spot tonight. So there's the bridge we were just up on. Oh, there's our first key deer spotting. We're looking for a park to eat and we saw this deer. Well, I guess we're pretty predictable. We're back at another community park tonight to make some dinner. Uh, I think we're going to hang out here until it closes. What do you think about the park today? It was pretty nice. Um, I like that it was, majority of the park was right along the water. And uh, so, really nice beaches and uh, just beautiful scenery. Yeah. I was a little disappointed that we didn't get to use the kayak today. But we probably should have done it earlier in the day, but lesson learned. But we did get to fly some kites. We did fly kites, and we haven't done that in a while. And we flew the new pterodactyl. Um, so that was fun. And I also enjoyed seeing the sunset there. That was pretty nice. Um, maybe on our way back up from Key West, we'll be able to go back to that park and try kayaking or another spot. Um, so right now, we are actually just making some salad, and we're going to hang out for a little while here. Something else to add um, about the park is, you know, we had thought about trying to get a camp spot there. It can be difficult to get a camp spot, but um, sometimes they have them open up, and you can get one. Uh, we were going to check, but we decided actually not to. Um, a few different reasons. Number one, with how we travel... We usually like to just keep moving, and it was a nice park, but we didn't really feel like it, we needed to spend more time there. So one of the benefits of having a camp spot would be if you really want to relax, and if we would wanted to hang around longer tomorrow, um, it would have been really nice on the water, maybe to see the sunset and to relax there in the morning, but because we'd really like to get down to Key West tomorrow and beat some of the colder temps that are on the way, we just decided not to do it. We'd rather try to find a place in stealth camp or whatever, and not spend the 30 to $50. I'm not sure what it would have been. Probably on the water, it's a lot more. I think the cheapest is 36, um, but I'm not, but that probably doesn't include taxes and other things. So we just decided to keep going and really at night, we don't care where we are. So we don't really need a pretty spot. And we've got everything we need in the van for overnight. So that's what we decided. We went for a walk around the park to get some exercise. Then got our girl out for a little walk as well, if you can call it that. So tonight we have another fruit to try, an exotic fruit that we got at Robert is Here Fruit Stand. It's canistel. It's also called egg fruit. You're supposed to wait till it's like super soft, which most of it is. There's one spot over here that's not, but I think it's, I mean, it's, I think it's pretty ready. Um, you cut it in half and it's supposed to taste like custard. Hard though. It's the whole thing should be e easy to cut, but well, that is. Well, that's really easy. All right, so I think it should kind of look a little bit like squash. Yep, there it is. And this is the most calorie dense fruit, I guess, and I think it's really high in vitamin C. All right, so here it goes. It does taste a little bit pumpkin-y. It's a lot like the sapote. 
and texture, and a thick pudding. Sweet and good. You want to try it? What do you think? Hmm. Tasty. I think I like Trying to think what it might remind me of. Hmm. Yeah, maybe pumpkin. Just a little bit. A slight hint of pumpkin. I think I like it better than the black sapote, do you? Yeah. I do wonder if the black sapote was overripe, though. I think it's pretty I good. I think the sapote, is that how you say it? Yeah, I, I, people say it different ways. I think that would be good if you paired it with, like... We talked about a graham cracker or something like that. But this, straight up, is pretty good. What do you think, Gray Gray? Do you like the egg fruit? Hey, cat. What do you think? She's like, no thanks. She's like, what is that stink? You're lost, cat. She's like, I'll stick with my uh, salmon dinner. So, Castanel gets five vans. Mm -hmm. All right, well... We stayed at the park as long as we could. The park just closed and now we're off to find a spot to park for tonight. Um, we have a lead from some of our friends that have been down here before, Eula and Alex of our retired life. So we're gonna check out that spot and hopefully we won't get a knock in the night. So this is definitely different than uh, the last couple nights where it was more residential and we were worried about people seeing us. I think we're out gonna be in a we're gonna be out in a pretty remote area out here. There's a lot of bugs on the window, but thankfully they're on the outside. Oh my word. There are no CMs all over outside the van, like clouds of them. Golly, there are bugs everywhere. Can you see that? Well, this is the beauty that we woke up to, but there are no seams everywhere. Just clouds of them. It's amazing that they didn't make it into our van more. Look at this beautiful, peaceful morning. And I believe the sun is just starting to come up right over here. Well, it's not cold out this morning, but I'm trying to keep all these crazy bugs off me. There are just no seams everywhere flying all around, but oh my goodness, what a beautiful, peaceful morning it is. Check that out. The van's back there at the end of the road. It's so quiet. Just very buggy. So I'm trying to keep moving so the bugs don't land on me and trying to get some pretty sunrise photos. So here's where we parked. Can you see the layer of fog just sitting on the tree line? Such a beautiful morning. There's the sun coming up. Okay, well that's enough bugs. I wonder if you can see them flying around. Oh my gosh, they're terrible. They're getting all over my face. Ugh. Anyway, all right, so that's enough of the sunrise. I think it's time to get out of here. All right. So not only are they all over outside, they're also in the van, probably because we had the vent on. It's funny, they weren't in here when we first got up, but now they're everywhere. They're like flying around. You can see them in the light. They're all over our walls. They are nasty little buggers. Yeah, Steve's been getting eaten alive. So, I was just killing a bunch on the front windows. I say we just get out of here. And yep. then, all right. 
pack it up and, and go. survived the night as you can see there was a really cool spot but as we shared back there the bugs were horrible when we woke up thankfully they weren't so bad when we uh, were sleeping or like through the night but uh, all of a sudden they were just swarming this morning so we had to get out of there um, it was nice to find that spot or to have that spot but I did not sleep well last night. I don't think you did either, right? No. We normally have our fans turned up pretty loud for white noise, but the area was so remote and so quiet, I didn't think that we needed them. Um, but I forgot how loud our cat is throughout the night. <laughs> so she kept us up. Uh, yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> Lesson learned. And I had the uh, back window cover open so I could see out, and it looked really cool when we went to sleep. You could see like tons of stars in the sky, but then I think also what happened is the moon came up and it got bright, and there were just lots of factors that I felt like it was uh, like Groundhog's Day. Like I kept waking up and it was like the same thing over and over again, over and over. Um, and then I tried to find the, the control for the fan to turn it up, but I couldn't find it anywhere. <laughs> so anyway, we survived. It was a really pretty area and a really pretty drive coming out. We would have taken our time and gotten more video and pictures if it weren't for all those bugs. I don't have any more blood to give. <laughs> so, anyway, now we are on our way to Key West. You'll have to join us for our next episode to see us there. We appreciate you coming along with us today and for all these adventures that we've been on. And we hope to see you next time. See ya. Good morning guys, it's a beautiful day in Good morning guys, it's another beautiful day in the Keys. Alright, behind the scenes footage. Award winning shot coming up. There it is, English Channel. Thought it might be a bit more English, but 